when I had my own child, he actually ended up getting diagnosed fairly late because he had a lot of a lot of coping strategies. Um, and it wasn't until he went to uh, school that his teachers saw the um, the challenges that he was having and and recognized it as as autism. I had asked our pediatrician, you know, I said, you know, I'm seeing things here and there, you know, he didn't transition to solid food for a while. Um, he He's always had his challenges. You know, he, he knows he's autistic. He owns that proudly. And he's not, he's not a sad person because of it. It was that diagnosis for him was freeing because he felt like he belonged somewhere. It's really important to portray autism in a positive light. One in 54 Americans are diagnosed with autism. Are one in 50 characters on television autistic? We don't see it. And are those characters portrayed in a positive light? Is it an aspect of their character that everyone accepts and it's just like, I'm a redhead and that has shaped me. My son wouldn't, he has said, you know, he's like, I wouldn't be me without autism, but he doesn't have, he doesn't have people in the media that he really identifies with. Julia came out when he was 12. It's just, it's so vastly important um, that I, I should not be the only one.